Hello again, YouTube. We're getting back to this content by request. It is from Charles It 4 OE. Charles It 4. He said, No Matrix, could you do a video on advice you would give yourself when you was a 35 about dating, money, family, and friends to prefer, prepare you for an even better outcome to your current age? I and other dudes my age could learn from that heat. I got you, man. I told you I got you. And we're going to get this out the way today, man. You know, being that we got a little more time. I'm going to get out here for a little more. Go collect some money, you know. Go from there. Uh, so, let's go for a ride. Um... Give me a second. Give me one second. I gotta go up this, uh, hold on once. All right, I'm back. So, Charles is 35. He wants advice uh, as to what he should do about dating, family, friends, so on and so forth going up to 49 and that's important Charles because you're still in your prime at 49 and I'm not just saying that because it's me because think about it Tom Likas was 52 and was messing with what people would deem hot chicks right so what we're going to do is we're going to go from the stage if you're not married if you are guys that's your age that's married, what advice would I give them? And we're going to do the ones that's not married and we're going to go from there. So let's start with the married guys. If you're 35 if, and you watching me, you watching these other guys, if your girl ain't no problem, your wife ain't no problem, she's sexual, she giving it up, she helping you, she keeping the house clean, if she stay at home, if y'all both work, she doing her part to keep the house clean, doing her part cooking, leave her alone. Don't change nothing. Just know this knowledge. So if she do switch up on you, you stand on her. If she can't handle getting stood on, you just leave her alone. So that's if you marry. Um, Y'all got to realize, man, it's a lot of information going on here. Don't mess up good relationships listening to us. We giving advice mainly for bad and if it would go bad. We're not talking about women that's right out here. I don't believe all these women bad. I just think most of them are, you know. Uh, so I wanted to start out by you know, telling you married guys, don't mess up your relationship because you like somebody on YouTube that's speaking on relationships and don't put nothing there that's not there. You know, my situation might not be your situation, but I also say don't be the fool that think that things can't take a turn for the worse in your relationship. All it takes is that dude with that mouthpiece and them abs to come to your wife's job or your girl job and step to your girl. And she going to feel a little bit looser if he bigger than you or he wilder than you. I'm just saying. So if we have to have a part two, we'll have a part two. We're going to try to wrap this up in 14 minutes, though. Now, to you unmarried 35 guys, uh, in terms of your family and friends, the same thing applies for married, unmarried. Do not put too much faith in them. Do not keep them out of your business, especially if they haven't been supportive. Like, let's say you've been trying to open businesses and they haven't been supportive. Don't tell them nothing in your plans. Keep them all the way out of your business, even if you got to be kind of rude. You tell them nicely. If they keep pushing to get in your business, you tell them the truth. But you keep them out of your business, man. Now, if you unmarried in 35, 
you got to, if your confidence is shaky with women, that's the first thing you need to improve. You need to improve your confidence apart from your physical and your financial changes. Like your, your confidence needs to improve while you, whoever you are, how you are, and how you look. Improve it. How you improve it, get in that mirror and tell yourself what you want and need to hear. As many times as it takes until you start believing. And what you tell yourself, don't believe what nobody else say. It's what you tell yourself. Then after you get your confidence in order, now you start going for yours. Going for yours with your money. Going for yours with the women. Um, be open to friendship, but don't need it. One of the pillars of No Matrix Life is not needing people. The only one you need and the only one that should be at the high level in your life is the most high. Because you can't be no matrix without the spiritual aspect. So at 35, these are the things that you want to get as good as you can get them. Your spiritual life, your confidence. Then you start working on your finances and your physical body. Do some research on diets. If, if you a chubby dude, <coughs> and you, hey, if that's how you want to be, that's how you want to be. But I would advise to chisel it up a little bit. You know, as much as you can, man. You, you know, change what you eat. Change what time you eat. Uh, have fast through the day. You know, do some push-ups, man. If you can't do a lot of push-ups, start out. I'm telling you, them push-ups going to cause, over time, those push-ups going to make your body start to form into a muscular build. So even if you can't do that many, you start out doing five. You do five every day for a week. You do five the second week. Then you start going up. That workout, what I learned from working out is the increase I call it the increase method. When you start out low and you just keep increasing, you're going to see gains quicker. Like, let's say you go to the, the gym and you bench pressing two plates. What's that, 135? And you're doing it 10 times. I say you when you first start working out, you go to the gym every day for like at least three weeks. Then you start cutting off. You do 10. That second week, you go up to like 12. And that third week, you go up to 15. And that fourth week, you add weight. I'm telling you, you're going to see the gains. And then you come home. You do your push-ups. You do as many crunches or sit-ups as you can. Like if you catch cramps, drink some salt water or eat a banana before. Just do what you can. Five. Whatever. I believe in the whole body workout. I don't believe in leg day, all that. I believe in, you know, working every muscle every day that you work out, like to a certain extent. Now, I don't know what worked for nobody else, but I was seeing gains in my whole body. Over the age of 40, I was starting to see my abs, my arms was chiseled, everything. I just stopped, stopped going. You know, I need to start going back. So... 35, don't let nobody tell you, oh, you are not old at 35. You're just grown. You know, you got plenty of time, man. Like, you can be 55 and be at these women. Man, I'm going to tell you, man. I know in the Midwest, some of these people, family members will be a problem. But I could tell how some of these young women look at me that they be curious, you know, I got my ways of knowing, man. I'm going to just say that. People will tell you, are you old? You, know, you can't listen to nobody. What's the truth and what are you telling yourself? What's your truth? What's the truth? Sometimes your truth is the truth. That's why you can't be listening to other people. At 35, you got to be willing to learn, willing to listen. But doing your own research, finding your own way. You know, because people is haters, especially if you're black. 
You black, you already know what I'm talking about, man. People, that's the reason why we at the bottom, man. People do not be as foggy out here, y'all. Look at this. People do not be helping each other like that. <coughs> it's reasons why we at the bottom. So, at 35, those things are important in terms of friends. Be open to friendship, but don't need it. In terms of family, spend time with them and deal with them based on how they treat you, not based on who they are. You, The hope is that you could be close to your brothers. Um, my sons are close, and I hope they'll stay that way, and I always tell them, don't let no women come in between y'all. Don't let no women move y'all away from each other. Make them get with what you want. You should not want to move away from your brothers and sisters unless they trying to stay somewhere that's just not going right for you. If you close to them. I wouldn't be trying to move from my brothers. See, my sisters, we all right. But it's like... Like, it's not, like, to the point where I wouldn't move. You know what I mean? Because I look at it like the relationship we have, they can always come see me. You know, it ain't no thing where I'm going to be like, oh, man, uh, you know. So, at 35, I would say come up with a savings plan. And speaking of that, go by the year, like, every year. Have a set amount you want to save. If you want to drive a new car, you don't got a new car now, have it projected how much you could save every month to have a new car, say, in two years. Like if you save $1,700 a month, if you're making money like that, you could save $1,700 a month. You can buy a car that costs you what? Let's see, that's $17,000, dollars that's $20,000. You can have you a, a $40,000 car. I wouldn't put it all on it. Let's say $35,000 brand new car in two years. If you could put up that kind of money, you won't owe nothing. Get the gap insurance on it. So if you some, you get a wreck or something, the car will be fully covered. So you always want to project if you pay cash. You can pay mortgages and car notes, stuff like that. But again, if it's over... 35% of your income or so, you're going to struggle. So if you don't want to struggle, you want your two main bills, your two top highest bills to be less than 40% of your income. You don't want it to be half. If it's half, you're going to struggle. That's how you can keep from struggling. You do this year after year, year after year. You focus on increasing incomes, building incomes. You invest, but don't rely on that. Like I tell you, I believe investing is part of the maintaining of the money that you have, not the way to build wealth. I believe the way to build wealth is increasing incomes, adding incomes, and saving as much as you can from them income. Me personally, I don't have stocks for the long. I don't, I don't believe that's the way that you build wealth. But we're going to come back with a part two, man. I, I got to go in here and collect some money. Um, I'm going to come back and finish this out.